Chefreferie zu Chefschiedsrichter gerufen worden. Wir sprechen jetzt mal ins Spiel. Äh, vielleicht zu früh gestartet worden. Das Spiel auf jeden Fall unterbrochen. Okay, so. It looks. Uh, now the time is going on again. Sorry, the referees are still uh, discussing with the team captains. And uh, we don't know. What are the, uh, it looked like it was like a false start or something like that. They really miss having the connection with the referee. That's really a pity. Yeah, we don't have sound from uh, the pool area and we don't have the referee microphone. Let's see, a free Sati throw coming. against Langen. This is the captain. Okay. <laughs> free throw. Okay. So, let's see. Here we go. We have with the Steffi, which is at the bottom of the pool, trying to jump up and intercept that uh, free throw, but it came through, and now Vienna is right under the basket with three players. Let's see um, if Germany can recover the ball. Yeah, perfect. That's Maren. Da war Österreich gerade sehr gut platziert unter dem uh, deutschen uh, Korb. Aber die Deutschen konnten die Situation gut lösen und äh, sind mit dem Ballbesitz raus, schon in der Hälfte der Österreicher. So, uh, Langen ist in Ball Possession. We see the first attack from Langen on the Austrian basket, on the basket of uh, Vienna. And uh, Langen is coming from the close side, but is heavily intercepted by the forechecking defense of uh, Vienna and uh, still trying to establish uh, their probing of the defense of Vienna. Good job by Vienna so far against the German champion. Heike is fighting against two Austrians and could keep the ball and pass it farther. I think that's Ria trying to find someone to pass it. And that should be Maike. And Heike again and Let's see if they can... Now they're coming with two, three. Uh, Kati is right underneath, waiting for the ball, but she had to move away. She's the captain of the team. She got the ball now. There's two of them. And they're coming one right or left. Let's see if... Uh, mm, we're missing a little bit of uh, some more rhythm. Uh, they are, I think they're still trying to find themselves into the water, but they're in control of the ball. They are not risking it, and that's just, you know, waiting for everybody to be in position to attack. And we have he uh, Heike trying to attack. She's a very experienced uh, player. Um, she fought against two, keep the ball and pass it far. I think Katy got it, and she gave it further to Maike, and now Steffi just got the ball and is waiting to see she's moving around. Solid defense here by Vienna. Um, against uh, the constant attack by Langen and uh, but Vienna has to break out of this 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 pressure under they are under because otherwise they're gonna be a mistake and there's gonna happen a, a score that we saw that a lot in the last uh, day in the games uh, it's this this waiting for this moment where the mistake is and you have an experienced team like Langen in front of you they will exploit every mistake you make and uh, here we go, there's a pos uh, position of one player, I think it was Kati on the open side. Uh, she tried to succeed. And here we have to break free of uh, Vienna. This is their chance to go for Langen. Great recovery from that ball at Steffi. Heike got it and passed it farther. Nicely done. And I can see number four, that uh, Anna got it, but it's fighting against two. Martin is waiting behind and couldn't recover the ball. And now is one of the Austrian and four of the Germans. Uh, Let's see if uh, they can start an, an attack or not. Germany recover the ball and is trying now to start the counter attack. Well, what a pity. Uh, Simone just got the ball and is trying to pass it farther. And that's Martin being tackled away. Heike, Heike just recovered the ball and she's going together. With Very effective for checking. Believe, and pass it farther. Yep, that's uh, been a nice. Vena. Yeah ball moving around but they're still not being able to really create uh, waves of pressure but uh, i like but how they keep moving yeah these teams right now the um, langen is uh, in better ball possession and puts a lot more pressure on the 
the Austrian basket. But uh, it, it's not like uh, the Austrian team is intimi intimidated here yet by the German champion. And uh, they are doing a good job stopping uh, Langen from doing whatever they want. And uh, they are very precise in their defending and uh, from time to time breaking free into the half of uh, Langen. Now we go back again for checking from Vienna also they are not able to strip uh, the Langen players off the ball but here oh well another chance from the open side same uh, as we seen before uh, the defense from Vienna wide awake and uh, realize the situation stopping interfering intercepting very well done good game by um, Austria yeah they're really making it difficult for Germany to to score a goal they are defending very, very good. And here, actually, Germany is the, the, the most experienced uh, team. They have played, Lange have played in the Champions Cup a few times. They have won. And uh, Vienna is still quite, I mean, the Austrians is four, five years old team. So we have players here that have been playing probably at least 20 years in the Germany uh, side. So very, very uh, well, job, well done job by uh, Vienna. Let's see, they're fighting in the surface. I can't see where the ball is. And who got the ball? This is uh, Anna. And pass it. And it's uh, still 0-0 zero, <laughs> zero after six minutes in the first half. And uh, it's not like Langen is not trying, but uh, uh, the Vienna team it's is... really concentrating and yes, defending yes. and score. Ah, here we are talking that about goal that was really on attack on the close side I and it was in the in exchange of the goalkeeper they tried to exchange press the goalkeeper down but nevertheless uh, scored but uh, compliment to Austria here um, withstanding this constant pressure on their defense and uh, being uh, able to break free and intercept I'm trying to see who scored I couldn't see I, I saw Cutty with the ball going on the other side, but there was someone else on the other side and I couldn't see. So, great job. I mean, it took seven minutes um, to score. and But still everything is open because Austria is, is playing an amazing game. So, we have uh, a to Tor from, sorry. Yeah. No, no, okay. Tor from Langen gesehen. Um, schön rausgearbeitet und das war tatsächlich eine Frage der Zeit, bis uh, uh, der, dieser konstante Druck auf die äh, österreichische Verteidigung zu einem Tor führen wird, aber großes Kompliment an die Österreicherinnen, die hier wirklich äh, sehr wach, sehr präzise, sehr äh, ähm, im Spiel sind und die, die Bälle der Langener immer wieder gestört haben, den Spielablauf gestört haben. Aber jetzt sehen wir es ein bisschen, wird es gerade ein bisschen konfus hier um die österreichische Verteidigung. Es ist mehr Gerange und diese Unordnung spielt natürlich in die Hände von Langen rein, wobei jetzt äh, Österreich freibricht und in, versucht in die Hälfte von Lang zu kommen. Sehr schöne Zusammenarbeit der Österreicherin bis zur Mitte. Aber jetzt haben sie es geschafft, sich frei zu brechen, frei zu schwimmen aus der Vorchecking äh, ähm, Verteidigung der ähm, Langen und bis hin vor dem deutschen Tor. This was a very uh, nice move here by, so, by the Austrian team. Uh, very hard, good teamwork uh, to go into the half of Langen and to start attacking the German basket. Yes, I'm just sorry, I was listening. <laughs> you were listening to yes, me. Yes, I was that, listening. That's, that's something new for a change. I know. Okay, something happened. There was a lot of fighting Holding on the safe. Without, without the ball, apparently. So it's a free throw against Austria. A little bit more than one and a half minute left here yep. in the game 33 of the Champions Cup 2019. But, but it's, it's been a really a tough game. Yep. Very well played by uh we have Kati uh, position right underneath the basket, waiting, but I think it took too long. And they're still in the middle. Ria got the ball and is trying to go farther. <laughs> we have Anna now. And Hike is coming on the right and Kati on the left. And they are still three meters away, so not really big danger. But they need to keep passing the ball like they did before. Ria again with the ball. Steffi is in position but has one girl from Austria tackle her away and now we're on the right hand side and in, in the middle. Still amazing forechecking defense yeah, by the Austrians. The, the ball carrier of Langen 
no matter how fast they exchange the ball, there's always a ball keeper under pressure, under attack by the forward-checking uh, game uh, players of uh, Austria, and they really like, like, this is hard work we see here, this yeah. is not fun, <laughs> but they are doing a good job uh, executing their plan, interfering with the game of Langen, and Langen has a hard time getting into position under the basket and uh, even being able to to attack the goalkeeper. They put pressure on the defense for sure, but it's really difficult Got for them to attack the goalkeeper. Goal. Now we see a Langen player coming from above, and this is a dangerous situation with the exchange of the goalkeeper. Yeah, they're still fighting. And Maren mm. has the ball, it's one on one, but it's a very experienced, very good. No. no. There it is. Oh, that was the end of the game. That was such a pity because that was do, an do excellent... Do you think it was a score or was it the end? No, it was not. So it was not was, score uh, at the time when uh, out before Maren could really pull up the That was good luck for uh, Austria um, in that situation. And uh, Austria has a very well earned 1-0 uh, and a very well earned 1-0 uh, for Langen 2. Yeah. <coughs> Both teams really, uh, I think they are not playing on the same level, but they can look each other in the eyes. Yes, I think, well, Austria has needs more definition when they go toward the attack, but they are defending really, really well and uh, they are really making the life of the German girls very very difficult yes yes <laughs> but uh, I we we've seen Germany really moving the ball and you seeing really the the three dimension right in front of the of the goal you know going up down right yeah. left and yeah. keep moving and always at least two three players okay a few times yeah just one player but they could recover and uh, start going in two and threes and and making the the life of the defender of Austria really really hard so respect for both uh, teams they have been uh, showing uh, a good game. Uh, it's amazing how Austria has uh, grown uh, in the last years, uh, tactically, technically as a team. And uh, yeah, both teams. Yeah, the uh, left, I yeah, think men and the women. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's really hard work that they are uh, doing in in Austria. I and think. Uh, I remember the atmosphere in uh, uh, in Graz when the, the Austrian national teams were playing, uh, the fan uh, community was really amazing um, around the pool and the, the atmosphere was uh, fascinating uh, for, uh, for a rugby game. Um, really, really something that pushed uh, the team on a new level. And uh, it's, it's really high-class rugby we see here. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the second half. What do you think will change uh, in the strategy of both teams, Lorena? Well, I think uh, Austria needs to see how they attack, when they attack, defending, they are doing it well, that's been perfect. And Germany needs to see that they don't have moments where there's just one on the wood. If they really want to create pressure and have more confusion, they need to do at least maybe five waves of constant attack, which is easier said than done. But they have been moving the ball well around, it's just sometimes they attack two, three times and then there's like a pause and if they can manage to keep this pressure for as long as it takes to score, like mm -hmm. the Orcas yeah. nail did it uh, when they were playing against also Vienna? The male team? We just saw the, the game. Yes, the male team against Vienna. Where right. they move, 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 move and if they can do that more consistent, then they probably scored two more goals. Back in the game, uh, Vienna was touched the ball first. Uh, that's not important for the game uh, because it likes to see uh, right. Langen stole the ball uh, and snatched the ball uh, away from uh, oh. the Vienna player. But uh, Langen is now, uh, it's a little bit more pressure here from Langen on the Austrian basket than we saw in the first 10 minutes before. It's more... Uh, Steffi is right under more the goalie. Pressive, she got the ball there. She will have a chance. And that, whoa, nicely, she got tackled. Almost. Oh, that's a bit. She lost the ball. Then Kadi just recovered it. And is fighting there past the ball. And that's goal. Goal from Maren coming from the close corner. She's very good, very dangerous player. She's, she was the one that was on the process of doing the goal when the time was up. Okay. So now she got the second opportunity to <laughs> make it happen. But I, I saw in the first minutes, and this is, uh, I think, Langen really um, started to establish, now we win this game, yes. no matter what. Yeah, they, and, they are uh, putting more pressure than before. Yeah. 
they, they were like more cautious or more surprised yeah. before, I don't know, one, one so of those. Let's see uh, if, if Austria can react to that, but uh, it looks more like Langen is even putting more coal in their oven to to raise the steam and to put the machines in high gear to put more pressure on the, on the Austrian passage with a 2-0 lead and uh, eight and a half minutes to go. They can uh, really go for a little bit more uh, offensive and uh, score another goal to force uh, Vienna out of their own area. Ries has got the ball. No, that was Simone, sorry. Great forechecking by Vienna here. It's, it's amazing what uh, the forechecking uh, is doing. It looks like there are eight uh, forechecking women swimming against uh, Langen. And Langen uh, <coughs> plays the ball around the defensive area of Austria coming from uh, the closed corner side, playing back and forth. Time is ticking in their favor now with the 2-0 lead. No, they pass up. This is this is the kind of thing that shouldn't happen. They need to be a bit more present so that they they don't get um, outnumbered by you know the defenders, the four Cherkes. And we have a counter attack, and this is really, really, wow. really. Very risky. I mean, this is just, just managed to stop the ball. Maron recover the ball and is trying to swim back. I mean, that was with Langen's left there a little bit. Ooh. They are right now again. What happened? Attack to the mask and there's a free throw from three meters distance for the Austria. I mean, exactly that kind of thing because they were in the in the corner and they took it like too easy and then yeah. the four checkers of Austria really went for Austria. it, got and then started a counter attack with three and the the Goalkeeper there, I mean, barely made it. Timeout, uh, Langen. Um, yeah, it's a good point to take a timeout because they are almost, they had two situ dangerous situations. Um, first, the counter attack. What are you Continue? eating? I'm eating boom boom. Okay. Because my, my throat is already complaining. Sore. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a really nice situation because with the, with the pressure and the two goals already uh, in the basket, you would think the Austrians go only for a very uh, careful defense, but there was a counter-attack and uh, after the counter-attack was stopped, there was almost another situation that uh, was dangerous for the Langen basket. So don't underestimate uh, Austria here. They are good for a surprise yeah. and Langen really has to and be And it's 2-0, but if they are not uh, awake, then that could easily and quickly change. So we have Anna on position on tour. Free throw uh, for Austria. Then Ria now is waiting. Six and a half Martin minutes diving, left. Trying to do some foot checking, and let's see. Okay. The Langen recover. Steffi is in position of the ball trying to start the counter attack and I she passed it and I couldn't see to whom but it got lost uh, recovered by the Aust uh, Austrian Ria. Recover the ball, pass it to Maren. Maren is now going toward the close corner who is coming with um, Steffi was there. Anna is in position of the ball waiting for the next one to get a cut. He got it. And I think that's Mike. How and many the ball on the other side and Steff is on this side but well it took too long for the ball to come here. How many national team players are in the German team Lorena? Uh, let me check. Uh, uno, dos, tres. Between I mean I will count all and new players because we yeah. have a lot of you know it's uh, uno, tres. Yeah. It's really difficult for, for Langen to get yeah. close enough yeah. to the Austrian basket. Almost nine, if we count that some are not active anymore, but used to play in the past, and some from the actual. So, but from the actual team is Langen does a four. very very amazing job here, getting into the defense, but uh, the the port checking of 
Austria doesn't allow the ball to be pushed brought to the players waiting under the basket and if it happens they are almost instantly intercepted and tackled away. So uh, congratulations to this defense from Austria. Amazing work here. And uh, in German we would say Langen beißt sich hier ein bisschen die Zähne an der Verteidigung aus. Okay. Von Österreich. Very important uh, German sentence, sich die Zähne ausbeißen. Okay. Everybody <laughs> has to learn it. Say it together with me. <laughs> sich die Zähne ausbeißen. Stay by the game. So uh, Langen is on the close corner and they're trying to see to, to start attacking away but it's, uh, they're still they're not on, in pace right now. I mean, oh, Kati is trying to get position of the goalie. She's right underneath and now is waiting for the ball. But we saw that a lot too good long. position, but it, uh, they don't... Got the yeah. ball, but it's been tackled. Yep, sorry. Yeah, yeah, just what you said, the, 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 the German players get in good position, but it's very difficult for them to receive the ball. Mm -hmm. So, and this is due to the, to the defense work of Austria. Simone and Anna. Three and a half minutes left in the second half Steffi here. Steffi and Kati are here on the right. Kati mm. just got the ball. Steffi said, going to the other the side. Chance. She moved yes. and score. Great score by Kati. Bello, captain of the team. And it's um, 3-0 for Langen. But it has been... Hard work. Hard work. Yeah. Definitely. And it's not... Uh, um, uh, I don't see much Langen could do better in this game. They're really uh, playing tight around uh, the yeah. Austrian basket. The Austrian team Position... Is? No, the Langen, oh. they really position themselves well, but Langen is interfering pretty good. No, Austria. Uh, uh, yeah. Austria is interfering pretty good, yeah. So now they're attacking again. They're on the close side. The ball went down. Can see who has it. Uh, let's see. Look again. You can see it. Uh, players from Langen Steffi. in position. That's dangerous for uh, the Austrian passes. I think Steffi was pushing ah, without yeah, the ball. Was pushing yeah. without ball, so it she should be a free throw well against position, Langen. Well positioned, but they got a little bit too physical, and uh, yeah, she pushed. It looked like she pushed without the ball. So now. They have a free throw again, which is, is a pity because when you try to, to occupy this position and attack um, and something like this happened, then you, because sometimes it's just you are, you know, paddling and it's just everyone is such a close proximity that you push without really wheeling completely, you know, and it's a pity because then the, the attack is lost. And Vienna is in ball possession. One player tries to get in the middle in front of the the basket forward, passing back to her player teammates. So they still have a distance to cross. Forward again from the corner. And uh, the forechecking from Langen also very intense, stopping Austria from getting even uh, anywhere close to the basket. This is a chance one player positioned under the goalkeeper in the defense, but the uh, ball was tackled away. Still in Austrian possession. This one took a little bit too long for her teammate to show up and uh, the ball carrier was under heavy pressure by a uh, Langer player but uh, also in the offense here well played by Austria now intercepted and the ball was tripped out of the hand of the Austrian player and we see a tackle of two Vienna players and one uh, Langer player to the surface. So it's just 40 seconds left. Mara had recovered the ball, but apparently it holding. was holding. And now it's a free throw against Langen. 30 seconds left. One Austrian is right underneath the basket. And let's see. Langen trying to recover. Recover. And Katia recovered the ball. And now trying to move it away from the basket. 10 seconds left and Martin has the ball and is trying to find someone to pass to the counter attack but it was being held by one of the uh, um, Austrians and now they are in a counter attack. This Ooh, is Ria trying second, to attack nope, again. and that's Too the late. end of the game. So it's 3-0 three, three, 
for Langen. And it's again a blue team that wins. Did, did we ever uh, have a, a white team winning uh, in the... Twice. Once was Elvetia against Connecticut Macos, and then we have Orcas females against Amaga. So, oh, which team is coming up? Uh, which is coming up? Akaren against Amaga? Uh, maybe... No? Okay. We are trying. We can um, switch and... So we will uh, give up the microphone. Uh, want to? Okay. Ah, Tosen is coming, yeah. We go to Beate and Tosen. Uh, we are really glad that we can. We have helpers and we can rest our throats every now and then in our mind. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Hello everybody, so we are back here in the female competition, we see the next quarterfinal here. The ladies from Norway, from Akeren, playing against the Danish team from Copenhagen, Amaga. And just introducing you to the team, starting with the women from Norway, we have been number two, Mari Bratetijk, we see number three, Tine Rosodal, number four, Tove Magret Alan, number six, Lisbeth Hoxberg, number seven, Berit Deadly, number nine, Kellogg Hulen, number 13, Celine Skare, number 15, Odd, Odd, Odd Ingrid Krefting, number 16, Irene Rosen, 17, Elie Hagen, 19, Hilde Hesteren, 20, Christine Nergat, 25, Lise Knudsen. And? and Amaga Underwater Rugby Club Club. It's Lynette Jensen, Penny, Lindbergh Hansen Mai, Heide Marianne, Chris Wegeberg Johannes, Iverson Dina, List Laila, Rutfeld Mill and Christine Lundius Marie. Alright. So just low number of team players here to defend the game like yeah, I'm not really double. sure if the team lists are fully completed. We will know that the team lists have to be uh, sent in a couple of days before the championship. There might be some changes. Um, nevertheless, you can find the team list also on uwr24.be. There you find the team list and you can check the numbers and the names to support your people. So we're going into the match in a couple of seconds. We're seeing here in white the ladies from Denmark here already prepared in the water, while right on the other side the uh, Norwegian girls are here preparing themselves and getting ready. And um, let's see, we've seen a lot of a lot of gold so far from the Akar and girls. I think they started super nice well in this tournament. We've seen like uh, victories, a 6-0 against Vienna. And we have already seen a 12-0 against the team from Italy, Firenze. Great, and you? you can see Laila number 90 with a little green frog on the pin, which will be interesting. And Okay, all right, and we're going back to the, to the Danish team from...